What's up YouTube, Mr. Lamessi here, and we are going to be continuing part hell of the Golemancer Revives Corpse Explosion build. We're, uh, we're just kind of changing the name ever so slightly each section of it. Um, essentially, you are running around with thorns, uh, and then your golems and some revives, and uh, monsters are dying hitting those guys, and then you just explode everything. Explode the screen. Um, it's a very fun build. I think it's one that we use in speedrunning, and I thought, you know, this is one I'd like to explain and show to the more general audience. You can use it through into the later game as well. Um, it's it's just a very fun, interesting way to, to play this build. So, uh, really quick recap right here. Um, here are my stats, mostly vitality, just enough strength to wear some gear, wear this crown, wear that belt, uh, and a little bit of energy for more corpse explosion. Uh, Gear-wise, we have Edge, we've got the triple res right there. We have a beautiful amulet I found for just extra res. This build doesn't get as much res, so that's really nice. Stealth, but we may make a smoke later for 50 all res. Um, lightning res here, cold res, lightning res there. 74 life. A really nice ring here with uh, a lot of energy and mana. And a sick pair of boots, uh, which is our Nats at home boots. We, of course, have Tele Staff as well. And then for our skills, Max Revive, 5 Summon Res, 20 Corpse Explosion there, and then uh, 5 in Amp Damage. And then I'm going to be putting into Skeleton Mastery after this. You could also, of course, do less Revive, less Summon Resist, more into Bone Spirit as well, if desired. So, with that being said, let us get this character rolling. We are oh, going to... Uh, I'm going to show you the beauty of leveling up in hell with this character so we will start first and uh just go get some revives on players one and then we'll go from there yeah 20 ce is no joke it is uh super wonderful so getting some early fallens for revives is just a nice way to kind of build up your stock Get a few of these guys going here. Perfect. Okay, and now we'll jump into players eight. Hopefully, we are strong enough with just these fallen. If not, we can always go back to players one, but. So now, what we want to do is just get mass groups. Again, we are on players eight. So I want to just find boss, boss, if I can find another boss, boss, and then just kind of bring it all together here. Create a big ol' package. And then, you just start blowing some dudes up. Oh. Pick up some nice guys as well. Grab some gold, plenty of gold to be had. Thank you very much for the five. And that's just great experience. And we rinse and repeat because again, there's just a lot of guys out here. So you can just continue doing this. Gather the next pack of uh, bosses. There's another level.
it's really uh, quite easy and just, I mean, this this is where I like to level. Like I said, you can level in Act 5, you can level in, you know, some of those other areas, but the leveling out here is just fantastic. More skelly mastery and more vitality. There's another pack. There's some more. I'll go ahead and grab the experience shrine. I believe they are cursed, so I gotta be a little careful. Someone up there is cursed, yeah, he is. Ah, darn. I didn't think I was close enough, but somehow we were. Go to the stony field. Fallen's all running away can be a little annoying. But still, plenty of experience, plenty of damage, already up to 56. Three levels in no time. Now we're in the underground passage. Which can be a little dangerous. I'd say this, if you wanted to jump down to players one, this would be an area that you could do so just to try and survive a little more. But Dark Wood, I'd go right back up to Player's 8. We're just looking for the same thing. Give me bosses, packs of bosses together. Carver's again, not my favorite. See if we can find some better bosses over here. There is the Countess here. I don't think there's really much more to go for. If you wanted to try and get like a Lum Rune or something and make smoke, you could farm Countess, try and get some runes. Since we're down to six revives, I'm actually going to drop to players one. These are also some nasty groups. So, just try and pick up a few more revives. I already have Lum, yeah. I, I got it from the one they Mercenary is just not needed, really? We'll go to players 8. See if we can get some uh, spear ladies chasing us, like a few packs of them. Doesn't seem like it, though. Nope. This How many levels do you want to get before moving on? All up to you. So, I mean, at this point... 56? Oh, I could just move on completely through, like, multiple acts. And honestly, I like Act 2 even more for farming. So, you know, I, I'm, like, totally fine where I'm at. But if you want to go back, honestly, like, you could just save, quit, rejoin, go through the Cold Plains a couple of times. That's, like, a really great spot. 
Cold Plains and sometimes Stony Field, you can get some really nice uh, packs together. Just do that, you know? Ah, the slow torture of caged starvation. I killed them, I'll probably go back to P1. Impossible. Whoa! Oh wow, he tallied on me. Didn't see it. That's okay. Good day. Didn't even see him telly on top of me. Good day. Ninety-seven to mana. Very nice. Oh good. Alright, so we'll go down to players one. that just look and see if there's a bigger belt and we will just move forward again not really where I want to be fighting a bunch of stuff I much prefer being out in an open spot give me the cold plains give me you know the slow torture of the uh, far oasis, give me dry hills, a any of those spots. So we will just move forward. I can't. But again, you you do you. Right, for the guided playthroughs, you do you. If you wish to level more, you level more. If you want to go get Countess runes, you go get Countess runes. If you want to go and level up in some other way, do some other thing, I can't. Go do that. Like whatever, whatever you know, get a bunch of items. Whatever makes you feel more comfortable and it's more enjoyable for you. For the sake of time on uh, guided playthroughs, I, I try and move a little faster through them. But that does not mean you need to at all. And I actually encourage you not to try and move as fast as I move all the time. Like you, can, you can go a little slower. You can take some time. You can level a little more. Yeah, they are devourers. Well, Hammerdens are very, very strong, but you can play the other builds and they can still be really fun. Like the Paladin has, you know, seven viable builds at least that you can I run through the game. A demonic presence here. Name all seven. You can play Pacifist Paladin, it's one. Hammerdin, two. Smiter, three. Zealot, Physical Zealot, four. You know, Holy Fire Zealot, five. Foden, six. Uh, Vengeance Paladin, seven. Charged in, eight. Tesladin, nine.
could do like a holy free zealot as well. I mean, I feel like we're hitting the zealots uh, a little too hard though for it. But, yeah, you can do a lot with it. Are there worth mentioning gear upgrades or lucky drops who would still significantly alter your gameplay at this expense? Point or summoner stab something better than edge bow. For this build, I'm not getting rid of edge bow. Now, I, I could give edge bow to a mercenary and then change it up a little bit where I'm like, you know, trying to keep my mercenary alive and whatever. Um, make sure you're on players one before in Dario. So that that is possible, yes. Otherwise, you know, there are improvements to gear. But yeah, let's just go over here. You know, more just like better pieces of gear, right? Shakos and things are just better pieces of gear. But I don't know if they're altering the gameplay. I'm gonna go to the Cold Plains to pick up a few revives. Like I said, your golem is really nice for getting, like, your starting revives out. But after that, revives are just so much tankier and where you want to be focusing. So you want to have your revives up, really, when you're going into these uh, spots. Dariel just gets murdered by Corpus. So. I can't carry you back to the hell that spawned you, Andario. Easy. Act one done. Back to the heck that spawned you. Greetings. How do you get a Shaco on a playthrough? Just like drop a Shaco? Yeah, I did it that other time. Two to traps, darn. That would have been nice on uh, our trap sins. Put that there, put that there. Cool. Uh, I'm actually gonna stick on players one really fast. I'm gonna go build up my revive count a little bit more. Thank you again, Joe Gulag, for that five those five gifted subs. Really uh, means a lot. Okay, now we got our revive count up. Now we're going to go players eight and head outside, and this might be my favorite place, the Rocky Waste, to level if you get the right mobs. Slingers aren't great. Dung soldiers are nice. But we need more. Come on. Here we go, there's Banehorn. Definitely a uh, sad monster spawns there. Let's see what we can do to bring them together, though. Really just got a poor, uh, poor grouping. Too many slingers, not enough of anything else. 
You can just get some really, really nice combinations. And just like four or five boss groups right outside. And just gain two levels instantly. Mage Fist does work on Fire Golem, yes. It also works on Corpse Explosion. It also works on Fire Traps. Anything with fire damage, though. Right. Let's see what we get out here. This is pretty good. Nice. Okay, we have good, uh, good spawns. We just need to get the right bosses. There we go. There's one. There's some champions. boss and another one and another one see this is what we're talking about right here this is this is where we want to run into it's like triple boss groups it's full levels That's what we like to see. Impossible. Mm -hmm. Waypoint and Fire Oasis. All right. Move on to the next. And we get a guide on cowboys for super. Okay. Look, it's it's a down year. We just we have to get rid of McCarthy. And then we're all good, okay? Also, if Jerry wanted to step down and hire a real GM, that would also be helpful. Leave McCarthy alone. Will he leave us alone, please? This golem is useless. Golem is great for getting your first sets of revives and aggroing a lot of stuff. So he does his job. My Maxim? Nah, I'd rather go Skeleton Mastery because I've got all of these revives I'd rather be buffing in the single golem. Where are the summons? Uh, it is not a summon necro. It is a revives golem necro. Greetings. 
Um, okay. Make some room. Also, revives are totally summons. We'll go players one here, and again, we will just uh, try and get through the maggot lair. As we don't care to spend our time here. Plus to life does work with corpse explosion, yes. Welcome to my shop. And mana per kill, you know, all that. Okay. Let's go back. It was a nice, nice level up. More vitality. We can get in the lost city. I can't. Okay. It's okay, spawns. I wish we had like more. Right, this will work. Not the greatest position, though. Are a good late game. Decrepify, amp damage, life tap, low resist. Those are the main ones. This place is as dark as a tomb. Impossible. Shield. Little J mod action. What you think? Uh, I can't. I can't. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. There's also great ones, Dim Vision and Confuse and Attract. Yeah, I mean, there's like a lot of different ones that have their use cases. Okay. Let's roll. It's Golem slash Revives Run. What would you guys call this run? If I if I'm making this a guided playthrough, I, I don't want you to just, you know, give a funny answer. If this is a guided playthrough on YouTube and you're searching around, whatever, and you see this run, what would you want it to be labeled as? It's not a regular summon necro for sure. Thorns Necro? Thorns Necro is a good good name of it. I 
like Thorn's Necro. It's a good description for it. Taking Summoner to the Edge. Oh, nice. So, uh, Edge Mancer also works. Impossible. I can't. Boneless Necro. It's kind of a funny name for it, actually. Because there's no Skellies, there's no Bone Spears. The problem is we use. You know, skellies and normal, so. I'm gonna go players eight before I head out there. Just because you can get some really nice combos out here. We'll go down to players one. Not great mobs. Not good enough monsters. Now we let Duriel kill himself. Why is a typical summon necro sometimes called a fishing mancer? I believe it's named after the guy who kind of created the build a long time ago. I'm not mistaken. It was the summon necro with max corpse explosion. I came too late. Now, just the specters are physical immune. Eh, they're damage. It's fun. Good day. Or they're tanks, at least. I mean. And just like that. Give yourselves the clap. We are done with Act Two of Hell. Easy. Huge congrats on Baby Two. Aww, How have you all you, been just... doing? Uh, tired. Very tired. But it's all good, you know. Yeah, we had Baby Number Two. Make sure your player is one without any of the revives out. Got shooters. Don't love it. Yeah, first we had baby Lilith. This one's name is Andariel Natalia Kane. Can't go that way. Hmm. Sometimes it lets you over. I don't know how you can take care of little people. Uh, I don't know if they like being called little people exactly, but... 
Maybe they do. Right, is that the preferred name? Let's get some revives. Little bit of safety. Um, yeah, it's it's weird and very different, you know. Cause yeah, before I, I wasn't thinking about, and it's like it it'd be easier if it wasn't twenty four seven, you know. But man, like kids are. Oh god, don't like that. 24-7. At least for the first X years. So you have to like always remember like, oh yeah, I got what did they do? What did, can I do this? I don't know. You can't just like go do anything. Go do things anymore. On your own you're always having to think. What do they need? What are they doing? Which is great, you know, it's it's a different world of it, different experience of it. But definitely takes a little little getting used to. No, that's just the hard part. You know, he was like, how do you what are the challenges in a way, right? That that is the hard part, is they are twenty four seven. Hmm. I think we have a skip over here. Oh god, I ran out of telejunctors. It's you're like, hey, I want to, you know, go hang out with my friends tonight. And then you're like, okay, hold on, I gotta talk with Moo Girl then, and see if she's cool with watching, and you know, like, you can't just... Wow! 18 all res, 8 strength, 10 dex, 2 to lightning skills. Sheesh! And of course, 40 poison. That's... God, if we were a lightning sorceress. He's sick. So there's definitely been times where I'm like, I want to go do XYZ. Oh, I guess it is just Great Marsh. And then I'm like, wait, I have a, I have a baby. I can't just leave the house. But the beauty is, every time you get a little, oh, hello, smile. Oh. And they come up and like give you hugs or reach for you or something, man. They bring a lot of, you know, joy to your life. Don't get me wrong. But they are they are a big commitment, you know. You have to really think differently about You don't you, your life isn't just yours anymore. I guess is the big thing to say, right? Before you have kids, your life is just like your life, right? You do whatever you want with your life. If if you're you know, before I had kids, I'm like, if I wanted to just go to Chicago tomorrow, I could just book a flight and go to Chicago and go see cute dog and hang out, you know, whatever, have like fun and go around. That 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 kind of that's where stuff goes away a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, is it a bad thing? Maybe not. Makes you care for someone else a lot more. Oh my god. It's adorable. Surely having 20 ghosts is one shot the zone. Doesn't quite do as well on your side. But having kids is better, more, more fulfilling than traveling. I mean, I try to not say better or worse or anything because everybody has their own experience. And I think it's important that, you know, everybody gets to value what they want to value. And there's positive, there's ups and downs. Traveling does have lots of great experience, you know? I, I've had a ton of fun traveling in my life. I've had a ton of fun doing things like that. But, I can't. There is also just a lot of beauty and fun and joy with having kids, but it's not for everyone. And for some people, it would probably drive them insane. They're like, I, I, I can barely take care of myself. I don't want to take care of this other person. So, you know, it really, it really comes down to just like what's important to you and what do you want? What do you enjoy more? I think kids are great for everyone else, so I've avoided them. Yeah. And that's great. It's good that you know it. You know? I don't know which ones are mine and which ones are not. It's kind of all over the place. Grab some full rejuice, though. It's <laughs> fine, bird. It's just, uh, if you do, it's it's a quickie. You can, like, re-enable re it right after. That's what I did, but, you know, if you don't, don't want it, that's fine. I think we have a couple days left on our exclamation mark COD. COD, uh... Sponsorship. So... If you go download, it's a small... Small help, takes a few seconds, it's on your PC. And I think the sponsor for next month, I guess it's technically November, so the sponsor of this month, just coming up, we'll do it after this, will be, I'm trying to go Monopoly Go. My friend said that's a fun one. Classic, yeah. This is a classic. Not used to the chat settings being so PG. Just on Twitch in general. Yeah, sorry, we're a PG stream here. I got kids, other people in chat got kids. Plus, like, you know, I mean, being not PG or PG-13 or R can, you know, be a little funny or fun sometimes, but it's overused. It's relied on so much by so many people, you know. Oh. 
I heard you like bits and chicks, front facing baby chick, 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 front facing baby chick. Thank you, bird. Much appreciated. Um, you guys can go away. It's just like, you know, like... Ah, 700,000 gold. We're, we're doing great on gold. I feel like so much humor... It's like cheap. Welcome back and congratulations, MR Llama Baby. Thank you, Crud. And Kusu with the Prime, thank you. It's a Golem Revives build. You know, I bet if I just like jammed all points into Golem instead of a Revive, the Golem would survive long enough and then it, you could just run it Golem plus Edge like purely as that. But having a bunch of little Revives in around. In 10 to 20 years, you can stream with your kids Diablo 5. Uh, we'll be streaming Llama RPG. Go wish list the game I'm making exclamation mark llama RPG. If you need more gold, if you want to find cool bases, if you want to find some nice runes, Players 8 Lower Kuros is uh, a GG place to do so. Just as a heads up. Just as a heads up. Ow. No, 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 no. Oh, get the curse off. Alright, let's find a waypoint. Are the characters all llamas for real? Well, you you play as a llama. There are other animals. It's kind of like set in the animal kingdom. So, you are llamas, and you live with the alpacas, but then there's, you know, like, the ice world, the fire world, the water world, and within those, obviously, you know, you've got fish, you've got, right, just giraffes and elephants and whatever, right? Where's the waypoint? Is it up in this top left? Impossible. Annoying. So it's not llamas. You don't you don't have ice llamas. 
Awesome. Again, you, you're the llama. You live among the llamas, but those are not where the llamas are. Llamas live in llama land. Gotta talk to Mama Llama to start your journey. It's cute. Ah, oh, garbage ring. I hope you can get millions from the game, bruh. I'm hoping to get like twenty thousand from the game, <laughs> and still be at a loss, but just not a, you know a complete loss. Can you spit? Yeah, of course you can spit. You're a llama. Oh, that'd be fun, multi. Alright, I guess I want to go in the sewers. I can't. Explain the aura rotation. I use vigor when I want to run around, and then I use concentration whenever I'm going to cast hammers. Our race is tied to class. Mama RPG, you are always a llama. And then you pick your class. So no, race, race, classes and races aren't tied together. Hmm. No, like, orcs or anything. It's... You know, you've got, like, your mage and holy knight. Um, things of that nature. Will there be camo or alpaca skins? Yes. So you will craft skins. You don't. No, you aren't buying any of it, but you're crafting. Outfits. Huh. Inside, I guess. Or a really weird map. Probably an inside map. Hmm. Um, there we go. Inside map. I have not, Amor. Would it be some Diablo-related Easter eggs? Yeah, there will be plenty of little Easter eggs. Diablo-related ones, chat-related ones. It is an honor to serve you. We'll have all sorts of fun. Oops. Alright. Let's go pick up some summons. Let's actually try like far oasis. Get some beetle summons. Happy Lama said Lama Greetings! Thank 
you so much. Big fat mama llama 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 llama. Who is this big llama? Starting all this drama. It's me, bitch. No, 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 no. GG. All we need is one. All we need is one guy to die. Yeah, they'll keep their lightning in the survives. And you wear a Peruvian cap. There will be some hats. That can be worn. The amp damage is for the thorns, so they return that. Cold Plains is just the easy spot to get some summons. And you really just need like one, two, three, you know, like just a couple revives. Even just this dude and this dude could probably be enough to go the rest of the way there. We'll have a green hat. This will be good enough. The revives aren't Dark Master? That's so. Well then, apparently these summon resist points are worthless because they are not affected by them. Chris not found, thank you. Even though it says they are. Ah, uh, these guys probably spawned on players eight from before, that's why. Okay. That's what's up. That should be hopefully good enough. Good to see you. Let's uh, go try the Travancore. And Travancore may be an area we have to come back. Try again. We'll see how it goes. As soon as they can, Zach. Once they have two mosaics. Hang on, everybody take a shot. The temple's dark power is broken. Good enough. All right.
And again, this is actually a pretty good boss killer. So if you wanted to grab this waypoint and do some farming here, it's really, really decent. Like surprisingly very good at bosses. You don't even need revives, that's the thing. It's not like you have to come in and rebuild your army a bunch or anything. That was some terrible maps right there. It's locked. Oh boy. Run away. Look on your surgery. There's nothing. The right portion. You. Nineteen to life. Hey, oh, finally. Got ourselves a nice charm. Yeah, me too, Kusu. Me too. Make sure your player is one. Make sure you keep enough distance away so that he's not getting healed. Because the uh, Travancle members will heal him. But otherwise, it's just, I mean, Mephisto will just pound himself. Easily. Like I say, this is, you could come here and farm here so easily. You don't even need the summons. Just like show up, drop it, drop your fire golem a few times with amp damage, Mephisto dies, come back, rinse, repeat. This is a fabulous farming character. Yeah, we got some chances, which is nice for, for the, uh, you know, explosion, but I would lose 30 light res and I don't really want to lose 30 light res. Unfortunately. What do you need? What do we need? Chances? No, those are frosties. Hopefully no souls out here. Looks like we do have souls. We have 50 light res, so that does help. But... If we run into a pack of like five souls, six souls, we is uh, probably dead. They all get a, hit us at once. I can't. The thing is, you know, you're like, oh, you can, you know, dim vision the souls or whatever. But the problem is, they're shooting off usually before you're seeing them, and you don't want to stop and cast at them because then you're standing still which is a great way to die. So it can be tricky for sure. And they snipe you off screen half the time anyway, so you don't, you know. Impossible. Impossible. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go back. We don't need to do Nilithak. Because plus skills aren't that valuable for this character, but we'll do it for funsies. Ooh, see, like, I don't like that pack. I really want to find Nelithak and not so many souls. There we go. 
Jesus. This is a great time to go get a bunch of revives. Let's go to somewhere where they were players one spawned. Flare jungle we had players one. There are players eight spawned in the far races, and that was too much. And again, we don't even need a lot of revives. Revives are really tanky. Just like, so tanky. So that's probably enough. We just need to not die to an insta pop walking through this. And there you go. I mean, it's simple as that. That end. Yeah. Leave a TP. I can't. This is probably it. Stone skin. That's annoying. Here. The stone skin's not great, but we can uh, maybe get some corpse explosions, and that's got some fire damage. We can do a little bit. Forget about it, I don't care that much. <laughs> Alright. Let's go to the chaos. Perfect. Okay, 
Now we can even try players eight if we want here. Just because we have so many revives. And let them cook. I mean, he was just gonna take forever. I don't want to kill that dude. But I make any balances in either direction for the revive skill. I feel like revive's a pretty solid skill where it's at. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? I feel like you could maybe increase the time a little on it. But. Boss man. There he is. No, that's a different boss. I need my Way down there. Impossible. And something that can also be really nice in like the Chaos Sanctuary and stuff is you can just amp everything, but you can have them standing on top of some previous corpses. Then you can just kind of blow, blow it all up. Now remember, this is players eight we're on right here. We don't need to, but we're doing it for the fun of uh, why not? Fire immune, so that makes it a little bit harder to kill him. Thank you, Ray. Vector's almost down. There we go. Go back down to players one. And keep moving. on top of me there. I don't even know. I somehow tallied onto mobs I couldn't see. Alright. It's not a great place to have to go find my body. Perfect. Nice and easy. Hail to you, champion. Hey, life tap. 
Okay, and we will go to the bazaar. And not a great place. We'll just go back to the cold plains and run backwards really fast. Pick up a couple revives. Some tankier revives to help out. I need mana. You're low on arrows. That's a pretty bad spot for him to tuck himself in, I'm not gonna lie. Impossible. Don't love it. to jump on top of him. Player's one right now, by the way. Again, we could be on a higher player count if we wanted, but. This works just fine. We already have 64. We're in a good spot. I'm sure we're players one for Diablo. Offline character save locally, yeah. Just like that, Act 4 is done. Wow, an S Steel Driver, love it. Talzami, shebang. Sibbers. Give yourselves a clap. TCD 
be like the remind one I can't figure out is missing. Is it possible? Uh, I don't think Detroit reimagined you can is set up for multi. It takes more than a siege to stop me. Oh. Thank you, Lunko. Appreciate the prime sub. So again, the bloody foothills really has nothing we care about fighting until the, the end here. Thank you, bird. And one of the main reasons, I mean, obviously you get the socket quest, but beyond the socket quest, one of the main reasons for uh, actually completing Shank is it will cut the cost of potions in half. Potions are actually double the price until you kill Shank. So, in Act 5. My, my. What a messy little demon. Yeah, it was almost a perfect death steel driver. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous item. I'll do HDQ eventually again, but I mean, I have a I have two kids under 2 right now. So, it's hard to do much. <laughs> The reason I don't do the no pickup command is because oftentimes I intentionally pick things up. Like I'll see a potion on the ground and I don't want to alt click it because I can't find it in the alt, but I do want to click it. So. It can be faster to do that on, a, on occasion. HDQ awesome games done quick or summer games done quick. Yeah, I I enjoy it for sure, but like I could say just right now it's pretty tough. And uh, yes, I am moving quickly through. Again, go at your own pace. You can fight all of these guys. You can you know, you do not need to move quickly. Oh, nice waypoint. I love it when the tellies don't go off like they're supposed to. It's so annoying. Afternoon. God, I would pay them so many pennies to fix that. But like a lot of pennies, you know, or it'd still be worth it. Impossible. Can't afford dollars right now, but we can do lots of pennies. like 50,000 pennies. Seems like a solid amount. It's always good to get a checkpoint, by the way. Um, oh, Jesus. It's nasty. The resting place of the ancients. Okay, so there's a couple of ways, again, that you can fight this, right? The first one is cheesing them by doing the TP trick where you block off this wall. Look up Mr. La Messi Cheese Ancients glitch video for how. But essentially, whenever Corlick starts sleeping, you set a TP here and it'll fully block this wall. 
and then you can get them all on the side. You come over here with an Act 3 Mercenary, and just let the Act 3 Mercenary, you know, ping down uh, enough right there, and then you can just use your Golem on the other ones. That totally works. However, I think it's more fun if you go and uh, actually fight them a little bit. And, just like we did last time, getting some maulers for that. Can I help you? So we can go take a look around our Traven or around our Durance. I don't remember our Durance having maulers this time. Do you guys? No, one Mauler's there. Check in the level two. Ooh, hello, Midora. Impossible. So what we can actually do is just go back and X out, come back in, and try and get some Maulers again. We can also look in the River of Flame. So look for the Erdars out here. It can be an easy place to... Uh, on them. I guess I should look at both. The Maulers are for the crushing blow. So none there. We want crushing blow for this fight. No, no, no. No, no. No. Annoying. Let's check out our Durance. Two of the three not. I can't. There have to be Erdars and Maulers at some point. <laughs> Yeesh. Unlucky, man. Babies are expensive, especially when you have two of them. All the dollars go into diapers. Exactly. Yay, yay, yay. Hey! Alright, we got some Erdars. Perfect. Go get our TP set again. Time is of the essence, because we only get three minutes with these guys, right? So we want to make sure we've got everything set and prepped like we want the place of the ancients. before we get the Erdars. Afternoon. So that way we can just jump over very quickly.
let's go ahead and get a higher level mercenary. Again, we'll go for a lightning mercenary because they have static. Bari. I'll put that to good use. I'll put that to good use. Perfect. Now we will get a couple of revives first. So that way we can go in with some revives and not just have this mercenary get popped instantly. But if they do, I mean, we're, we're reviving it anyways, it's fine. some quick Erdars on this side. There we go. There's a fourth Erdar. Go the other side. Yeah, there were a couple more over there as well. Let's go do it. Ancient's time. So, what we're gonna do here is try and make sure we keep Talik off of our mercenary if possible. that our mercenary can get some statics in. And then obviously away from ourself, he is extra fast, extra strong, so that is like super deadly. I don't love that. Okay, Corlick's almost dead. I've lost sight of Talik, which I don't like. There he is. Now uh, we'll let them kill Talik really fast. And then. That I can go down. Perfect. Alright. And now they all jump on top of Madoc and go for the Madoc kill. And if you want, you can do. Spamming of your. Uh, fire golem for some explosion fire damage. Kelly stomp him. You know, I'm okay. I, I feel like he's doing just fine. Alright, fine. We'll telly stomp. <laughs> And just like that, Ancients complete.
Not uh, shabby at all. I mean, you can do this same exact thing if you want for like Bale and such and just stomp him and have a bunch of Maulers go crazy on him. You can also just let Bale kill himself very quickly and easily himself on the uh... whatever, right? So. It's a little scary out there. We're running around with not a ton of revives right now. So let's go be a little. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was hoping no souls. Let's see, let's just grab a couple souls here. I just want to grab a bunch more revives, even if they're slow. Because then this is this is the pace that I would say when you guys are playing, you should be more moving at, right? Like obviously, I'm just telling around, going like crazy half the time, but. You don't need to do that. You can move very slowly. Just have a giant pack of revives. And you're gold. So do as I say, not as I do. Level 66 already. Plenty of levels gained from this. Safety TP. Dare I not die to souls? I'm sorry for not dying to the souls. That was, uh, the Might Aura there was nasty. Am I reviving the Council of the Beast for Bale? That's what I'm saying. You don't need to at all. Like, literally just... Ooh, Souls. And low res. Just having, uh... Your, your Golem is enough. It's actually the preferred way to kill Bale. Because he will he will deal so much damage to himself every time he hits your golem. I need mana. Okay, we'll we'll get the souls on our side.
Some unravelers working for us. is the initial piece. And then the revives take over later. I'm also going more into revives than I normally do, just for fun. Regis look awful. It's funny you say that, because I actually think they don't look very good either. Compared to old graphics. In the alpha chip gems. Yeah. Council members are a little annoying. <laughs> there we go. You just need to get one to pop, and then the fun won't stop, you know? I'll stream POE2, whatever I can of it. So I'll actually show you guys the pure golem finish for our golem answer. you do, you just unsummon everything else that you have. Make sure your player is one. Is a 
fun, more fun way, but you know, again, you don't need to waste all the time doing it. It's the same old, same old. Stars. I can't. There we go. Telly stomp and let them uh, do some bashing. So. Another fun way to uh, go about it if you want, but. was that you guys you have just beaten Diablo 2 with a thorn necro thornmancer edgemancer call it what you want let's do a review shall we Stats and skills, again, pretty much jammed vitality, enough strength to wear the gear that we wanted, nothing in dex, and a little bit of energy just for some more corpse explosion along the way. Uh, stats, or er, skills, maxed revive. You actually shouldn't put in summon resist, apparently, because it doesn't apply. It's a wrong, supposedly. I'll have to talk to the devs about fixing that. Um, apparently, summon resist does not apply to the revives, but... Skeleton Mastery still does, if I'm not mistaken, so we still get that boost, plus the revive boost. Tons of uh, boost right there. Maxed out Corpse Explosion, of course, and then 5 and amp damage. If you want, you could take all of these points and these points and put them into Bone Spirit. And then, like I say, you can have a Bone Spirit that does, you know, 400, 500 damage, and uh, you can use that to kill Madoc. Um, you could use that to, you know, chip away at Bale, whatever. It's it's actually a decent, like, it's not amazing damage, but it's decent enough. So that is an alternative uh, to jamming, you know, 20 revives and all of that. I decided let's go more in on the revives in this because it was more fun to just kind of have 20 revives running around. But that is up to you. Uh, for our gear, we had our edge bow. We had our three sockets still. We had our 30 all res ammy that we got. I don't think we changed any of our gear out from the start. Stealth, 30 light res, dual res, life, res. Yeah, we didn't change a single thing. We found a 19 life small charm and an eight faster hit recovery. Otherwise, all our gear stayed the same in hell. Um, we actually had decent gear, like I said. I could have got a smoke 
if I wanted because I found a Lumrune. But because we got this chromatic and some really nice resistance pieces, our res are actually pretty good. 50, 54 light res, 49 fire res. That's great. I don't need smoke to max those out. Yeah, my cold and poison are a little bit low, but they're less important overall. You can always chug some thawing potions to bring your cold up for 30 seconds every thawing potion that you chug um, by 50. So, you know, now I have a minute of cold res. I could always chug a bunch of those to get that into the positives and then antidotes as well for poison. So less important down there. These top ones, more important, and they were just solid overall. Uh, character character played smoothly. I mean, it was just a really smooth play all around. Um, again, I think this is a super fun character. This is a character that you can then continue taking forward. We're level 67. I can very easily continue going and leveling. I can go into the chaos. And once you have a few of those revives, just like we've seen when we've played, once you get a few of those revives, you're kind of set. Then you can go players eight and you can just run around on players eight. It takes a little bit, but then you start just corpse exploding, gaining tons of experience and you can do stuff like, uh, let me actually go here. I'll go to the cold plains, see if I can pick up just a couple revives. Like, I could go around the Cold Plains. Again, one of my favorite places to go uh, pick up more dudes and then get a bunch of experience. But let me just grab some revives. Perfect. We'll go to the Rocky Waste again, you know. We'll go Players 8 because I already have enough uh revives there and here's some guys i like here's some guys i like here's some guys i like i'd like a few more bosses there we go there's a couple bosses can i try and all bring it together here if we can Start grabbing revives, just start grabbing experience. It's super easy. I mean, look at how much experience I just gained right there. Now I've got even more revives. We can take that even further over here. That guy's stone skin, so I don't really care about him, but grab his minion. And you just continue. Okay, now I'll go to the next pack. Slingers aren't great, because obviously they're range, but find any of the melee. And uh, just have fun. And even try and aggro some of the slingers to come in. See if they'll join on top of this nasty group of experience right here. And you can just run around and do this as much as you want. Reset, get more bosses, get more groups in these open areas. Like I say, Chaos Sanctuary, Far Oasis, Rocky Waste, wherever, however you want. It, uh,. It's just super nice. So, that is the Thorns Necro. I hope that you guys had some fun, uh, enjoyed getting to watch it, getting to play it. Um, yeah, I think, you know, there's obviously your common builds for your characters, your hammer dunes and your, you know, wind druids and that stuff. But I think it's really fun and interesting to have some of these offshoot builds, especially ones that are really solid like this. You know, this is just like a good, uh, a good character, plain and simple, um, to, to play through. He's, he's, he's very fast. He's very fun. 
Um, and you can slow play it, have lots of revives constantly out, slowly moving and clearing everything, unlike me who's teleporting through and making it more dangerous. So uh, definitely, definitely good. Anyways, GG everybody. Thank you for uh, hanging out, for watching, for playing. Don't forget to like and subscribe, YouTube. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, everybody.